What's bothering you? Don't give me that crap. We found the evidence we need to clear Teague's kid and blow this thing wide open. You should be happy as hell, and you haven't said two words since we left Race's apartment. Angry? At me? What the hell did I do? Yourself? For what? Look, I'm new at this whole sharing emotions thing, so you need to talk to me like I'm four. I'm not following you. I have an idea. Start at the beginning. Race has feelings for me. What feelings? They had a crush on me in school? <laughs> That's crazy. They never said anything. We're back to the intimidated thing again. Wonderful. No, no, I believe you. Your gift hasn't been wrong yet. But what does race having a crush on me back then have to do with you now? Jealous? You? Of race? That's ridiculous. You are the kindest, most genuine person I've ever met. And, oh yeah, the only person who ever gave a damn about me? What is there to be jealous about? Race never said anything to me. And... We are not going to go down the what-if rabbit hole. I have never felt what I feel for you about anyone else, and I never will. You saved me, Arden. I was headed straight down the drain, and you risked everything, including your life, to save me from myself. That is not the same thing. I stuck up for race because I had a beef with a couple of the douchebags that were picking on them. And it pissed me off to see them bullying a younger kid just to feel tough. Kindness? I was just getting even with those assholes. They hurt me, so I wanted to hurt them back. Be honest with myself? Are you kidding? Fine. Let's say, for the sake of argument, I did it to protect a younger kid who couldn't protect themselves. That doesn't even come close to what you did for me. My life was not in danger. The worst thing that could have happened was I might have gotten my ass kicked. Been there, done that. So what? I was the first person who ever stood up for race? Oh, shit. Okay, so I screwed up again. But it's still not like what you did for me. Not even close. No, I don't understand. 
I stood up for a kid when I was a kid too, and they got a crush on me, and now you're angry with yourself. What am I missing? You're angry because you shouldn't be jealous of someone who had a teenage crush on your partner? Do you love me? Then why are you being so hard on yourself? You have a hell of a lot better handle on your emotions than I do. You sensed someone had feelings for me, and it triggered jealousy in you. You can't control that. You didn't go ballistic and act like a psycho. You can control that. Take it from someone with a history of making bad choices based on negative emotions. You handled it just fine. Baby, nobody's perfect. Some of us are far from perfect. Your gift makes you empathic. It doesn't mean you won't feel a negative emotion of your own once in a while. Well, maybe some of your gift is rubbing off on me. Yeah, well, it's a long road ahead. I mean, look how bad I screwed up with race when I tried to do something good. I suck at this. Nobody's perfect? Hmm, where have I heard that before? Well, there's one thing I am going to be perfect at and that's keeping you safe. I've gotten rather attached to you. And besides, somebody has to keep me out of trouble. Are you applying for the job? Well, I'll tell you right up front, the pay is lousy. And the hours are crap, too. Benefits? <laughs> what benefits? I kind of doubt anyone is going to consider spending time with me as a benefit. Oh, really? Well, like I said, babe, you're the only one. Truth be told, you're the only person I want to spend time with. Why? Well, for starters, you love me for who I am, and you're not here to use me to get something you want. It's refreshing. You're also the only person I trust completely. You make me feel... at peace. I've never had that before. Oh, yeah. You make me crazy sometimes. Like when you suggested we go into the building undercover to get the surveillance video. Makes me wonder if you're trying to see the vein in my forehead let go. Do not tell me some of the crazy shit you used to do before you met me. I'll lose it right here. La 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 la, not listening. I know a way to shut you up. Come here, you little menace. Spanking you had crossed my mind. But in this case, I think kissing you silly will work better. I love you too, baby. 
I didn't think I'd ever say that to anyone. See what you did? You made me all warm and fuzzy. Yeah, you ruined me. My bad boy image gone right out the window. Don't you dare say anything to Teague. I'll never hear the end of it. Speaking of his royal highness, how do we get this evidence to the right place? It can't come from Teague. He's under too much suspicion, so anything that came from him would get tossed out as a fake. Absolutely not. You will not do it. They know you worked with Teague, so it would get tossed coming from you, too. But the main reason is you'd be painting a big target on your back. Not happening. They'd come after you like a pack of dogs. Forget it. We need a way to get it to the right people and have it look organic so they'll actually listen to it. Legal Defense 101 If you can't refute the evidence, you ruin the witness's credibility. This needs to just appear, so there's no source to discredit. Oh, trust me, it's going to be a shitstorm when this gets out. When a conspiracy this big starts to unravel, some of them will run for cover, but some of them will come out swinging. If they know they're screwed, they might decide they've got nothing to lose. At that point, it turns into a case of, let's see who I can take down with me. You are going to be safe and sound and out of the line of fire when this hits the fan. Teague? I'm protecting you, not him. You're trying to make me have a stroke, aren't you? Fine. But if I get in a position where it comes down to saving only one of you, you know who I'm going to protect, and their name is not Teague. I hope it doesn't come to that either, but if it does, you know what I'm going to do, so don't act surprised afterwards. You are always going to come first with me, baby. You're just going to have to get used to it. Love you too, babe.